How to add Stripe Payment Gateway to your website. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll show you step by step how to do so. I'm going to take you from step A to Z in order to do this exactly for your website. It could be it could be any website that you have. It does not really make a difference. But in this case, I'm just going to use Google Sites, for example. So we're just going to go ahead and start right away from the site, even though what we need to do is from uh, Stripe, but we can just set up the uh, site thingy first. So we can just, for example, add a product uh, that we want to sell. And uh, in order to add the payment gateway, we need some sort of a button, you could say. So I'm just going to add this image and I'm just going to move it down here. Let's say this is the image for the product for example, and then I'm just going to go ahead and add a button as well, which is going to uh, include the Stripe payment gateway. So I'm just going to go ahead and give it a name um, by now, for example, and then we are just going to leave the link empty. So I can't really add the button yet, but we basically now need the link for Stripe. And uh, basically we want uh, the button to work as the payment gateway through Stripe. So whenever somebody clicks on this button, which should say pay, uh, by now is actually going to take them to Stripe so they can fulfill the transaction. So now in order to actually do that, we just need to go ahead and open up a new browser tab and search for Stripe or just go to Stripe basically. And once Stripe opens up, you will need to log in into your account. So you can either create one for free or if you already have one, just go in and sign in. I'm just going to sign into my account and show you exactly what to do next. Okay, so once you log in into your Stripe account, you are actually going to need to activate your account first if you did not do that already. And you will need to add your bank information and so on in order to activate your account. Otherwise, you're going to be using test mode as I am right now. And I'm going to show you everything from test mode, but it is exactly the same steps. So don't worry too much about it. I just did not, um, this is not my real account. So I'm just going to be using it for the sake of this tutorial. So I'm just going to use test mode. With that being said, what you need to do first is just go to settings from the top right and then just click on settings one more time. From here, you're just going to go ahead and go to payments at the bottom here. And once you click on that, you want to click on payment methods. And then once this actually loads in, it's going to probably look different for you because each uh, country or region is going to have different type of uh, or types of payment methods that are available for you. Even sometimes you're going to find, uh, you know, buy now, pay later sort of options that are available. Now, all of these things you can find in here and you can feel free to act activate whichever ones that you actually trust or want to use or have people to use at least. So I highly suggest that you keep Apple Pay and Google Pay turned on. If you don't have that already, just make sure you do that because um, a lot of people actually use them and it's going to, you know, cover a lot of people and obviously cards is going to be turned on. And then if you also want to add any more um, wallet options, you can also feel free to add them. But for the time being in my region, these are the ones that are available for me. So I'm just going to keep them as they are. And now we can actually go ahead and start creating our um, transaction process and make sure that it is going to reach our site here. So for this red product. Uh, there are going to be different types of things that we can create in uh, Stripe. So we can just go to payments or we can just go back to the homepage just sh to show you. From here, you just want to go to payments here. And from payments, you can just go to payment links. I'm going to show you how to create it in multiple different ways. This is one of the ways that we can actually create the link for payment. So once we go to payment links, we can just click on new on the top right. And we can just go in and get started with this section here. So we are just going to go ahead and, uh, and by the way, on the right side is going to show you a preview. This is going to, to show up for the people who click on the button that we are just about to add. So this is exactly what the customers are going to see. Now here we can just go ahead and add a new product. And once we click on that, we can just go ahead and start setting up our product. So we're just going to first give it a name. So I'm just going to do example uh, product here. And then you can also feel free to add a description, which, you know, is what you're going to be doing because it's a product and you want to let people know exactly what they're going to be buying. So you're just going to add a description. A description. 
And then if you would like to add an image, which is also going to show up in the preview, you can also feel free to do that. I'm just going to add this one as an example. More options here. I'm just going to skip that because we're not going to use it for the time being, but you can also use them because they're going to have different things. For example, units, uh, unit labels, metadata, and so on. I'm just going to skip that step. Now here's going to be an, an important part. Uh, so whether you want the payment to be reoccurring or one off. So this is going to make a difference. So if it's reoccurring, it's going to be more like a, subs a subscription whether it's going to be monthly yearly it's going to be up to you and you can change it from here or you can just go in and go for the one-off one which i'm going to do for the time being and if it's one off you're just going to state the amount so you can first select the currency i'm just going to go for usd so you are going to be more familiar with it and then we could just add the amount so let's just say it is 50 dollars and then oh sorry about that and then if you just click on more um options here or payment options you're also going to have more options here as well like advanced options and stuff so if you want to give your price a description or a lookup key uh, you can feel free to do that but if you're happy with it uh, you can just go ahead and click on next and this is going to create the product here for you and you can just click on add product which this shouldn't be here and anyway, i'm just going to keep it as it is just make sure you have the proper currency and uh, price point click on add product and this is pretty much creating the product here for you and now we are just back to the payment link that we're about to set up and in here we just want you can actually see the previews a little different we can actually see the price point for the product we can see the name of the product the uh, description and also the image that we added so all of these things are going to be av available here for us and this is all for the payment page. We also have an after payment if you want to add that. And in here, we can actually go ahead and go through the options here, collect customers' addresses. If you want to do that, you can just go, go, go ahead and check that. And it's actually going to show this new form uh, that is going to appear here. And people are going to need to actually fill it if you turn this on. And you can also make it billing addresses only or billing address and shipping address. So select whichever one that you actually want to go for. I'm just going to uncheck this. We don't really need that right now. And we can also do require customers to provide a phone number if you want to contact them further. For example, for delivery or whichever case that you want. Uh, you can just go in and check that as well. And now they're going to be required to actually add their phone number too. And then we can also add the limit, the number of payments. So if you, if this is a limited edition sort of product, you can add how many times people can purchase this. And then we can just go to advanced options here as well. And in here we can add custom fields. So whatever you want, really. Uh, if you want to allow promotion codes, you can also turn this on. And uh, to create the promotion codes themselves, uh, it's just going to give them the option to add a promotion code, but they're not going to have any unless you add some from Stripe itself, uh, which is a different a different thing that you can actually do with Stripe, which is creating uh, promotional codes for your uh, products. So you can either allow that or turn it off. You can allow business customers to provide tax ID or save payment details for future use, uh, which is, you know, they're going to save the card information for uh, them and this is not going to be required by them they have the choice to either turn this on or off so yeah and then we last lastly we have the pay as the call to action which is pretty much what the button says here at the bottom so whether it's going to say pay book or donate once we're happy with this we can just click on create link and by the way you can preview how it's actually going to look like on both mobile and desktop click on create link and this is just going to create or be created here for you. And you are going to have the link here, as you can see. The only thing that you need to do now is just go ahead and copy the link. And we're pretty much good to go. We can just go back to our site, whichever site that you have. You can create your uh, funnel on any site. Uh, you can add a, a image for the product. You can add the description for the product. However, you actually want to do this. This is the most simple way that I can think of for this test. And once I added this um, image for the sample product that we have, I'm just going to add a button here. And again, I'm just going to call it by uh, now or something. And we can just add the link in here and click on insert. And now we should have the button, which we can place right down here. And obviously for each website is going to be different how you add a button and how to add 
um, or make it uh, make sure that it redirects to that specific link but you're going to be set with this and now anybody you can just preview your site anybody who clicks on this button is going to be taken to the um, gateway here where, where they, they will be pretty much able be able to pay for the product and everything is going to be set for them and again if you want to create another one for example a subscription instead we can just go to product catalog here which is also going to be exactly the same thing but now we're just starting with the product click on create product on the top right and in here we can just go ahead and again do the same steps just give it a name here test or whether whatever that is and we can add the description add an image if you want and now instead you just want to make sure it says reoccurring otherwise it's going to be another one off uh, one and you can just add the time and then billing period is going to be monthly uh, but you can also change it to be yearly for example or uh, you can change it to be every three months every six months or even custom if you want to but i'm just going to keep it as monthly and click on add product and i believe the rest of the settings or most of them are actually going to be the same so if you just go and click on that and click on edit product yep this is going to be it for us but we are going to have more options here which i'm not going to talk about because most people are not going to use it unless you know what you're doing here um and this is the price point and you can actually see it's per month and then to create the payment link for it is going to be the same thing you just click on the three dots right next to it click on create payment link and again do the same steps that we just did with this one this is the only thing the only thing different about it is is actually going to say per month as you can see and uh in here we can also choose a different type completely which is going to be uh this is for products or subscriptions which is the one that we talked about but you can also create a payment link which is going to allow customers to choose what to pay this could be more like a donation thing if you want to set up donations you can also feel free to use this option which is going to be a little bit different because people are going to actually insert uh, the amount themselves they will choose exactly what to pay and you can also feel free to add a uh, suggest a pr uh, preset amount so this is going to be uh, you know the suggestion uh, point and we can also set limits we can do minimum limits and we can also do maximum limits if you want to and then it's again same steps click on create link copy the link paste it on your site and you're good to go so i really tried to go as in depth as possible when it comes to how to add your stripe um, gateways to your site so hopefully you found this video to be informative and thanks for watching